Hello everyone. Welcome to Research Part Shala. Construction of the buildings and the infrastructure is everywhere now. After the beam of the concrete, bricks are the major parts in the construction. Conventionally, you all know the red burnt brick, but the innovation in the bricks has led us to reinvent the brick. You have often heard that the core must be strong. This core often refers to the bricks which are used in the construction. Here we have listed 10 different types of the bricks which are used in the construction and which one is best for your dream house is to be chosen these all bricks have its different uses and according to the use we have to select the best suitable for our application so coming back to today's hot topic let us start the video in this video we are going to research review the trending types of the bricks that is the autograve aerated concrete commonly known as ac blocks ac block is lightweight load bearing high insulating durable building product which is available in the wide range of the sizes and the strength ac block offer the incredible opportunity to increase this quality at the same time reduction in the cost of the construction also ac block is produced out of the mixture of sand with or without pulverized fly ash lime cement gypsum or anhydrite water and aluminum and it is the hardened by the steam curing in the autoclaves let us see the industrial procedure of the ac block preparation the process is similar like cooking the tasty food is prepared using the best recipe and a suitable method of preparation ac block has also its own recipe and the suitable method of preparations the recipe varies with the type of the product needed but the preparation process is similar that is the batch process the whole process is divided into the seven section the let us discuss them one by one batch section consists of the batch reactor the raw material is mixed in the following ratios fly ash lime cement and gypsum are in the ratio of 69 20 8 and 3 respectively whereas the aluminum is about 0.08% of the total dry material in the mixture whereas the water is 0.6 to 0.65 times of the total mixture present it takes about 6 to 7 minute for the mixing process then the mixture is poured in the big cuboidal box called as the mold then the mold is transferred to the precurring section in precurring section the rising of the mold takes place here the aluminum reacts and form the hydrogen gas this gas leaves the mold and while leaving it create the porous structure inside the mold and the mold rise in the size like a fluffy cake the mold is kept in the precurring section till it is ready for the cutting process sometime it is desired to hold the surrounding temperature at specific value for the proper rising so there is a provision for the heating heating is done by passing the steam in the overhead pipes in the curing section as the mold is ready for the cutting it get transferred to the cutting section now the demolding of the mold should be done first before the cutting process initiation the mold get detached from the cake first The block is first tilted in the vertical manner on the plate before the cutting process. Cutting is done via the thin metallic wire. First, the side part is cut. The label of the company is also get printed during the cutting process. Then, as per the required dimension, the blocks get cut. Accordingly, the distance between the wire is maintained. the waste generated from the cutting is recycled back to the big containers the stirrers contained in the containers continuously stir the recycle this recycled material is then add to the batching section in the quantity of 1.6 kg per liter of the slurry after cutting the block again tilted as it was earlier during tilting process some blocks may develop the cracks so such blocks are also get rejected and sent back to the recycle after final approval it is then sent to the autoclaving section autoclaving is done to make the block hard enough for the use it takes 12 hours for the block to achieve the desired compressive strength initially for 3 hours the pressure increase steadily till 12.5 kg per cm square and then hold constant for the next 6 hours Another 3 hours the pressure decreases steadily. For the whole process the temperature is kept constant at 190 degrees Celsius. The blocks get segregated according to their size and transferred to the storage yard.
Now let us see the advantage of using the AAC blocks. First, it addresses the environmental issue and it is completely a green product. Production requires less energy so the fuel requirement is also less. Utilization of the waste material from the other industries as a raw material is done here. Only steam is the waste from the manufacturing process with the minimal quantity of the CO2 generated. You know fly ash is generally a byproduct of the thermal power plant and it is the important raw material in the manufacturing process of AC blocks. This makes it a sustainable product which also reduces the air, land and water pollution. The size of blocks is 8 to 18 times larger than the conventional bricks. This leads to the faster laying of the masonry work. Use of the sand is very less here. We use fly ash instead of the sand. It has many technical benefits. It is the energy efficient product. It offers 6 to 10 times better thermal insulation than the regular concrete. It is a non-toxic and environmental friendly. It has also the fire resistance ability. It has excellent sound absorption quality also. No waste is generated from this raw material. So this is all about the AAC block preparation. For the more detail like the temperature, pressure and the exact quantities, see the description. And for more such videos, subscribe to your only channel, Research Part Shala.